Hello everyone, welcome. This is Norma Woodcock speaking to you from Perth in Western Australia. I'm speaking into the readings for the 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year C. And the theme is, Lord, increase our faith. In Luke's Gospel, the apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. The Lord replied, were your faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. We have to remember that we cannot take this literally. It's an Eastern mode of expression cast into the sea, which actually means, with faith, what looks impossible can become possible. And I want to say to you that 40 years ago, when I had my conversion, everything in my life seemed impossible. Maybe you're feeling the same way. Maybe you're saying, Norma, my life is, it's an impossible situation, it's financially, health-wise, family-wise, relationship-wise, marriage-wise, thinking-wise. And I want to say to you that all things are possible with God. And so when I began this journey, I began to develop a relationship with God because faith is a relationship with God and, and prayer is a living out of that relationship with God. And so when I began many, many years ago to, to come to him with all of these myriad of problems that I had, all I could do was take a wonderful scripture from Jeremiah 29, 11 and begin to apply it personally to my life. And that scripture says this, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for peace and not disaster, plans for hope in your final outcome. And day after day and week after week and year after year, as I gradually trod the journey of relationship with God, I found changes started to happen. First of all, in my thinking, yes, God, you have a good plan for my marriage. It didn't seem possible at the time. There'd been so many dreadful things that had happened in our marriage. God, you have a good plan for my self-image. I thought that was impossible. I had the worst self-image on the face of the earth because I'd been abused so badly as a little child. God, you have a good plan to bring my family together because we weren't as close. I wasn't as close to my daughters as I would have liked because I wasn't the mum back then that, that I could be right now. And so I want to say to you quite earnestly today, if you feel that your journey is in a place right now of so many impossibilities, develop your relationship with God. Ask him to increase your faith. How do we do that? Prayer is vital. Fellowship with others of like-mindedness is vital. Allowing God to lead you step by step in your journey to see what has to be taken care of, gotten rid of, taken a hold of. But above all, faith is believing that God is in control of all situations and all circumstances. I want to read to you a handout I give to everybody in my office when they come. It's from um, Dr. Don Colbert in his book, Deadly Emotions, and it's called The Antidote for Fear and Worry. Faith is the ultimate cure for fear. Faith is believing that God is in charge of all things and that we can rely on him to do what is eternally best for each of us. Choose to believe that God is at work in your life and in the lives of those around you. Choose to believe that God is in control of all situations and all circumstances. Faith is always a choice. You know, Christianity is transformational. It's not just maintenance. But you don't notice it as it's happening. But three months down the track, you may look back and say, I'm not as afraid. I have more hope. I'm enjoying life a little bit more. I'm beginning to see possibilities and they are becoming probabilities. And so this week I encourage you to seek God with all your heart and allow him to transform what you thought was not transformable. May God bless you this week and may you have a wonderful week. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.